In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create these little Christmas gnomes using the Clay Play Air Dry Kit. In addition to your air dry kit, you'll be needing a piece of fabric or mat to work on and a small dish of water. To start, we're going to take our piece of clay and break up to smaller pieces using your wire cutter in your kit, or you can just pull apart with your hands. Just remembering that we're wanting three different sizes, so make sure that you've got a small, medium and larger piece of clay. Just simply, you want to roll your piece of clay into a bit of a sausage. And as that starts to form, just starting to roll on one end. So as you can see, I'm just pushing down on the one side. I'm just leaving this for here at the moment. We'll tidy it up in a little bit. Okay, so that's forming the top of our gnome's hat and we can bend that over a little bit later on. Now we need to just tidy up this bottom bit. So just giving it a good old pat on the bottom or a thump as well. Just blending as you go, just make sure that everything is smoothed out. Then taking your needle tool, you want to trace out your gnome's hat. Once you've got your outline, then you can go in with your wooden tool and make a firm indentation. Next, I'm going to hollow out the bottom of my gnome because there's a lot of clay in here and it takes a long time to dry when it's this thick. And then from that clay, I'm just going to roll myself a little nose. Then just place on his face to check the sizing. Put that aside and then we're going to go in with our wooden tool to rough up his beard. Gouging out the clay as you go as rough as possible creating as much texture as you can without deforming the shape. Okay, so he's really starting to get that rough look now. And just to give him a bit more texture at the bottom, give it a little bit more of that 3D effect, I like to just go in from the very bottom and just scratch outwards. I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'd probably, I would just go around and just define his hat just a little bit more. And then from here, all I'm going to do is attach my nose. So scoring and slipping. So we're just going to wrap up where his nose is going to go. and the nose itself, then attaching those two roughed up edges together with a little bit of water. So from here I'm going to leave my gnome to dry for about three hours before coming back in and doing some finishing touches. So now that my piece has had a chance to dry, I can go in with a wet sponge and just um, smooth out any imperfections or nail marks I might have, or I can get my needle tool and just kind of clean up some of those edges. So I'm just gonna go through and do that now.
Okay, so our little gnomes have been drying for about three days now and they're quite hard and firm. Um, and just to check that they are ready to decorate, all we're going to do is just get the tiniest amount of water on your finger and just press into that clay. If it disappears and dries up really quickly, then it's telling us it's ready, it's nice and dry and it's ready to paint. So all I'm going to do is paint my little gnomes here with some acrylic paints and leave to dry. I like to do at least two coats, especially getting in amongst that beard. Once you've finished painting your gnome and it's had a chance to dry, um, you can go back through and seal it with a sealant. Um, if it's just for a one-off decoration and you just want to leave it as is, that's fine. Just make sure that you do paint the bottom of your gnome as it will rub on a table and leave clay marks uh, wherever it sits. Um, but if you are going to go through and seal it with the acrylic sealant to make it a little bit more durable and water resistant, apply two coats over the top, making sure you put a coat on the bottom as well. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to learn more, follow us on Instagram at Clay Play Kits or Facebook at Clay Play.